Hello everyone. Uh, happy holidays. Um, I'm not sure when you're going to see this. I am doing this on the 17th and I'm not really sure when I'm going to get a chance to upload it, uh, hopefully soon, but you might not watch it right away anyway. So whenever you may wa be watching this, happy holidays. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that you're about to enjoy whatever the case may be. I am going to do hopefully a quick video. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over um, what I think of the scents. I'll, I'll kind of, I'm going to try to tell you me like, yes, no kind of thing. Cause otherwise this video is going to be way too long. And I, I just, I don't have the time for it right now. I really wanted to do this video because I truly enjoy spending time with you. Um, I feel like you're sitting here in front of me and I'm talking to you. So I really enjoy that. But as I said, today is the 17th and I have not gotten one Christmas present yet. Well, I did get something from my husband. That's it. I haven't gotten anything else. Um, and I have nephews to get for, I have my grandchild, I have my boys and, and daughter-in-law. Um, and the nephews still have to be shipped to them. So I have so much to get done and I just don't feel like I have the time and it's an extra busy time for work. So I actually, um, I'm gonna have to log in on the weekend because I have stuff that has to get done that wasn't ready to be sent to me today. So I. I couldn't work on it today. So anyways, let me jump in here. Let me get these, this little, um, two vendors that I want to do together. Instead of doing two separate videos, I'm going to do one. Um, I am going to jump right in. I did go ahead and cut the boxes open so that it would save a little time. The first one I'm going to do is the box that I got from the bathing garden. Um, I had went ahead and ordered some stuff from her winter collection because I've said before that I love to do mint in January and um, I'm not sure if it will be ready um, because I know that I like to leave bathing garden cure for quite a few months. So I'm not really sure if this will be ready in January, but mints can, for me, can be done just about any time. I just like doing a lot of mint in January. So, oh, wanted to show you, I, um, I know you've seen my earrings before, my Grinch earrings that my niece made for me. Um, well, she made them and I loved them and said, hey, I want to buy them. Um, so I had ordered from another friend who works for, uh, is it CC Originals? They do like t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that. Um, I had ordered the Grinch t-shirt and I think I had told you about it. So I wanted my Grinch earrings that I could wear with my Grinch t-shirt. And since it's like 78 degrees here, perfect time for the t-shirt. So anyways, that's my stuff. And um, I have another from the same place that I got this t-shirt. I got um, a sweatshirt. I think I showed it to you, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it had the Santa and it said believe. And then they had like little snowflakes around the Santa's head. And um, my niece was showing, she had a video and there was like snowflakes in it. And I was like, oh, those would be perfect for my sweatshirt. And so she just sent me a, like a little mini, you know, 15 second video, whatever, showing me that she finished the earrings. Um, so hopefully I will get them soon. Um, if I don't get them in time for Christmas, I don't care about that. Uh, I can wear them whenever. But she's also making me um, another pair of earrings that I asked her if she had, and she told me that she didn't have it, but that she, she could make me, um, a pair and um, those earrings are going to be going to someone that I'd, I'd like to send them to. They didn't ask me for it. They don't know that they're coming when I do get them. I don't know when I'm going to get them. Um, but it's just a little, a little Christmas cheer, a little, I don't know, just a little heartfelt. Here you go. Like I just want to spread a little love somewhere. So I, um, uh, if the person watches this video, they may know that it's them, but uh, I'm not giving it away. Anyways, bathing garden. Let's get into the box that I got. So everything is packaged very nicely. Got a little sticker on it. My wrist is killing me. Try not to hold the box too much. Um, let me get into that. Maybe I should have ripped that open earlier. 
All right, and then after that, it's wrapped in a beautiful, oh, I can't, there's a certain name for that kind of paper, the, the design on it, but I can't think of it. All right, got my little packing slip in there, and it says, thank you, Etta, happy holidays, with a little sticker that says thank you. And it it's not like a super big order, but um, it felt big when I was making it. I got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different um, pieces, um, all relatively around the same price. There might have been a couple of, uh, most of them are probably going to be like clamshells, and there might be a couple of pieces that are like little designs, right? So I'm going to go through this quickly as as quickly as i can there's a um okay so there is the sample bag that she's always so generous about giving um and those samples are always tremendous i mean like they're they're very nice and big and there's actually a little thing in here that says thank you so that must be another little piece of something that's a gift i'll open those last i like to do those last all right, I'm gonna go through, and all the all the pieces are wrapped in red and green tissue for the season. I think that's beautiful. I'm gonna start with this little green one here. It's probably a little shape. It doesn't feel like a uh, clamshell. Yes, it is a shape that I had requested, and this is in, oh yes, clementine and honey. And it's shaped like a little snowflake. Let me do, I'll just do a quick little snip very nice i can i can definitely smell the clementine and the honey that's wow that's actually quite nice uh i couldn't remember if she put pour dates on here but she does not it looks like so because that one doesn't have one so i'm gonna keep going i hope that you're having a good day um i i will say that i haven't been having the best of days lately just I don't know. I think every now and then we go through little seasons in our life where we're either feeling good or not feeling good about life in general, I guess. I'm sorry, I need a sip of something. And I don't know. I think it's the I think it's the season. I think it's the evil one trying to mess with my life, mess with my spirit. Um, but I haven't been having the best of times and uh but today i thought about it and i was like you know what i'm supposed to find joy in the lord and that's where i'm gonna find it i need to stop looking for it in other places um so i am trying to turn over a new leaf per se and just try to find the joy in everything um we all have moments when we don't feel it and i am just in that boat also but i am trying really hard to not let things get me down all right so this is i believe it's yeti log according to the packing thing let me look uh could have sworn i saw it in here a second ago yes oh yet shaped yeti nog wax tart okay so it does say nog i was like i'm not too sure what that says so yeti nog and here is ah the design cute like almost kind of almost looks like a little brownie piece or something but and at the same time almost like a log but not you know not like a round log just a piece of log and i i should have gotten the scent notes on this but i didn't again i just don't have time and i think um i think i heard Oh gosh, who was it? Somebody did a video. Was it on Bathing Garden? I could have sworn it was on Bathing Garden. I'm almost positive it was Susan. Um, and she said that they were like, Bathing Garden had their shop closed so she couldn't even get the, um, the set notes on it. And I remember thinking, oh, okay, good. That's the excuse I'm gonna use as to why I don't have it. But truly it's just because I, I don't have time. But I couldn't anyways. I get kind of a bakery, kind of a gingerbready kind of note to this, almost like a little bit of, uh, and it does say nog, so I was gonna say a little bit of like an eggnog smell to it. Not bad, uh, eggnog's not exactly my favorite, so we'll see. I always think it's worth a try. All right, this is a clam, and this is in Fireside Latte. 
And you know how much I love my uh, coffees. So let's see, fireside latte, look how pretty. That's really, really pretty. Ooh. Okay, I get, um, I get some fireside. I actually get some latte. I get like that coffee scent to it. I'm trying to make room here. I don't have a lot of room on this little table, especially with my microphone and I had my extra phone here. I don't know why, because I thought, I guess I was going to be able to look up scent notes. And then I have my drink on here. I'm like, I don't have enough room for all this. I actually need a bigger table, but I need to... I need to organize my room. It's gotten to be a disaster. I wouldn't even be able to put a bigger table in here if I wanted to. Because I'm not exactly the most organized person. All right. You probably knew that about me though, didn't you? All right. This one's called hypothermia. Not something I'm going to suffer with around here anytime soon, considering it's 78 degrees. So hypothermia. Hopefully it smells cool, crisp, and minty. not as I'm, i feel like i'm getting oh sorry i guess you wanted to see that i feel like i'm getting a little bit of the clamshell scent from it i don't feel like i'm getting enough uh this might be one of those ones that requires a lot of curing i'm not getting enough of of a mint scent i feel like i'm almost getting a little bit of the clamshell scent yeah i'm getting quite a bit of clamshell scent this one I think is going to need some extra curing time, so I can't really give you a good idea of that one. But I, I thought it was going to have this like really crisp, cool, minty scent, but mm, right now it smells more like the clamshell, but it, that could just be a matter of cure time. All right. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, given the time of the year and the season, so, you know, the wise men brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Right? So she had a scent called frankincense and myrrh. So yeah, of course, I wanted to get it because of that. So frankincense and myrrh, which I usually like in other scents. So, and I definitely like it here. To me, frankincense and myrrh are both uh, scents that I have found in like incense or used in other incense sense and i i love that kind of that kind of vibe so i definitely like frankincense and myrrh um i'm probably gonna let this one cure i, I don't really think it needs too much cure time it smells pretty good as it is but i want to see if i let it sit for a little bit longer if it just intensifies and maybe like does way better than it would do right now um all right next one is candy cane noir and it's got little candy canes on it how cute let's see i don't want this just, i got my drink right there i don't want to like go to take a sip and i got like glitter in my drink cute Ooh. okay now this one i'm getting the candy cane vibe from it on the sniff like, I thought that that um, hypothermia was going to be very, you know, which I'm not really getting. But this one, I'm definitely getting minty. Ooh, that one's nice. I like that. Again, I still think that they need uh, more cure time. Oh, my goodness. I'm already getting glitter all over me. <laughs> it's already on my pants. Of course, me wiping my hands on my pants makes it do it more, but... Um, I wanted to turn this over, but to see if I could get, figure out what other scents I'm picking up, you know, what the noir part is in that candy cane noir, but not going to happen. I'm going to keep going because I don't want this to be like a two hour video and I still have the other vendor to do their scents too. All right. This one is called Russian Ice Bath. And you know, I think Russian ice bath, and I don't know, I think of like Siberia, right? And I'm thinking really, really cold and um, and with the little snowflake on there. Snowflakes, how pretty. I tend to think minty, icy cold again. Oh, okay, this one I am getting minty. 
This one I definitely am. Um, and I have no problem leaving this one even, you know, if I really want to just do it in January. I have no problem leaving this one for next January. I, I got enough wax to last me. I still have uh, more than half a brick of Olaf. And I have a brick of candy cane wishes. So I have enough minty scents to get me through this year. And then this would be like extra cured. Oh, another one with like the kind of like the candy cane mint. That's I, I like that. That's pretty. All right. Next one. I feel like I'm opening up little Christmas presents. It's like Merry Christmas to me. I, I didn't go shopping. Uh, you want to want to wax? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be telling my family. Uh, my boys. Can you see them? They'd be like, No, Mom. I want something else. <laughs> I'd be like, Yeah, but we all enjoy it, right? I mean, I don't see the problem. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. All right. So this one is. Why did I pick this? Uh, I think I picked this one more out of curiosity than anything else. This one's called Frosted Fruit Cake. And I have never liked fruitcake. I, we've had a couple of fruitcakes uh, through the years. And I want to, I've taken a slice out of them. The ones that we've gotten before, either through gift or buying just out of curiosity. And yeah, they've never, there might have been one that was like, I think I could eat a couple of slices kind of thing. But none of them were like, oh, I I want to keep eating this and I am a dessert person but yeah fruitcake's not my thing uh, so frosted fruitcake do you like fruitcake I mean that obviously some people must like it if they keep making it right and if you do like it you probably never have a problem finding it when it's uh, you know available it's not like there's a rush at the store to get fruitcake so here is the design I definitely smell the fruit. Um, come on, I want to smell the bottom. The fruit smells good. It does. And of course, I'm sure it does in the fruit cake too, but I don't know. There's, I, I'm trying to think what is in fruit cake that just, just makes it so. I mean, maybe I don't, I also don't think I like the, the denseness. I'm probably getting glitter on my glasses. This is actually not bad. Um, in terms of fruity, it's kind of deep, like a deep fruity scent. It's not a light fruity scent, but it doesn't smell bad. I'm obviously going to try it. All right. The next one is the Winter Prince. Love the label. I actually really like these. Um, obviously, you know. I prefer not to have all the decoration on the wax. I've said that before, but I love the artistic, you know, side that the person is showing when they do that. I, I just think it's beautiful. And I, I love to look at it. I don't like to clean it out of the warmers, but um, I, I'm actually enjoying like this creamy color and especially with like this gold and silver pearlescent kind of I got a scratch and I hope I don't get glitter on me. Um, okay, sorry. Did I show you? Yes, I did. Winter Prince. I'm, I'm talking too fast. I have that habit. But it's that I don't want to take too long. So I'm like speeding things up, which I, I have a habit of doing. Oh man, I wish I remembered what this was supposed to be. The Winter Prince. I get a little bit of like a soapy, soapiness to the scent. But a kind of nice soapiness in a way. I wish I could remember what the scent notes were on this. Yeah, I'm going to have glitter on me. Um, I... Not that I'd be able to recognize it. Um, I, I, 
I admire people who can smell these things and can really pick out notes that they smell. I mean, every now and then I can pick up some things, but like that, I get a soapiness from it. I get um, a freshness or whatever, but I can't, I can't tell you, oh, there's this scent and that scent and nope, wish I could, but I'd be lying to you if I did. All right. Uh. But obviously there are people who, you know, they they are very familiar with scents and they can pick them out. I'm just not one of them. All right. Elf Morning Blend. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Another one that should be a coffee kind of scent. And I love that what looks like a little, like you get a Hershey's bar and you snap the little pieces, right? That kind of looks like, except, you know, it's pink. But it kind of reminds me of like a little Hershey's square and then of course all the red and green with like the brown it kind of makes me think of like a peppermint mocha or something that's that's the feeling i get especially since this is elf morning blend i'm thinking like a peppermint mocha oh my gosh that smells good and i bet you that's what it is i get i get a little bit of a chocolate chocolatey chocolateness to it a little bit of chocolate but I don't know, when it's cocoa, I tend to like it. Like, just like chocolate chocolate, I don't usually like, but cocoa, I do. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like a peppermint mocha. Or peppermint hot chocolate, maybe. Because mocha should have coffee, right? I don't know. This might have coffee, I'm not sure. But I definitely get like the, the mocha of like a hot chocolate and peppermint. Ooh, that smells really good. Really, really, really good. Like I said, I, I like chocolate when it comes to like hot chocolate. All right. And it smelled pretty strong. It didn't smell like it needed to be cured at all. But who knows? If it doesn't get cold enough around here, I won't have time to do any of these that I think should be done in the cold. Uh, this might say Swedish clog. I'm thinking like, you know, like a... A little shoe, the clog. No, it says Swedish glog. Okay. I can't always tell with the font whether certain letters are what I think they are or not. So Swedish glog. Beautiful color. Love that color. And oh, it looks like a piece of dried orange rind, maybe, on the bottom. Nice. And oh, this one's got a little loose piece. I don't want it to fall and maybe like a um oh darn what's that not a clove but um i don't know Ooh, oh wow i say ooh, but it, that's because the scent hit me but oh my gosh that's beautiful definitely a spice that that is a that was a very good indicator of there was going to be spice in here Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I definitely get um, like a citrus and I'm guessing like orange. And then like the like a clove cinnamon kind of thing. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That might actually be my favorite one so far. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, we'll see on we'll see on warming, but on cold, I really like that. That's I'm dropping things again in my hurry to try to get things done because we're at 24 minutes and I'm not quite finished this box yet, and I haven't even done the sample, so you can see why I'm trying to hurry. All right, the next one is Santa's chimney smoke. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the design. Got the tree. It's got the smoke going up with the reindeer going, about to go over the smoke. That is beautiful. Okay, this one's my favorite. There's a sweetness. It's not smoky. Like, it doesn't have a smoky scent to me. Not to me. Like, sometimes the smoky can be... Well, you... you 
probably have smelled ones that have like a smokiness to it. To me, the the smokiness almost comes across as like an amber. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Love that one. Love it. I would absolutely go back. I would go back and get way more of Santa's chimney smoke, but according to Susan, they're not open. Um, ice peppermint cordial. Unless I misunderstood her. I don't want to steer you from going there if they are uh, available. So iced peppermint cordial. Cordial. As in, uh, as in a small aperitif drink. I don't know, all those fancy things. Ooh. Iced peppermint cordial. Like I could picture like this little small glass with a white drink in it that's minty, um, cold. Wow. Nice. Very nice. I like that one too. That might be my number two in there. Such I love the I love the blends that people come up with. My snowman's pipe. Is that the last one in here? Yes. So the last uh, clamshell in here is my snowman's pipe. And it looks like there might be a snowman in there. It is. Oh, It's Frosty with his corn cob. No. That, that looks like a carrot. With his carrot nose. <laughs> and his scarf and his hat. That is adorable. Look at him. <gasps> okay. My snowman's pipe. I get a lot of, I think I get a lot of pine. Not a, not a very, not a very offensive pine. I can, I've told you before that pine to me a lot of times comes out very astringent and I don't like it. And I really think I'm getting pine and who knows it, as it cures for longer, it may get more astringent. Um, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, again, for being the snowman's pipe, I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting like a tobacco or, but that could be something that needs to develop. I truly feel like I'm getting more, uh, more pine than anything. So, all right. So that's it for the box. Um, and there's the samples and the other little thing that said, thank you. Let me open the little thank you. Oh my goodness. Aw, I ripped the sticker and if you knew me, I don't like ripping this stuff. I like opening it up carefully. Oh, that just drives me crazy. Alright. So the little thank you is little bitty ginger men. Little gingerbread men. And it says buttered gingerbread is the scent. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean, mean to make it shake so much. Me and Scrooge didn't mean that for that to happen. Ooh, that's nice. I do like gingerbread scents. I, I like, there's that, only that one scent that I've had that has a ginger, it's got the word ginger in it that I was like, no, that did not work for me. But usually like a gingerbread kind of thing, I like those. Man, that smells like somebody made fresh gingerbread cookies. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fresh, fresh gingerbread cookies. I mean, there's a nice snap. Ginger snaps? Uh, but ginger snaps, you know, you know that those are not fresh made, right? But they, they usually have a pretty strong scent, but fresh, fresh gingerbread cookies. I can't, I gotta smell that again. I'm sorry, that, oh wow, that smells really, really good. Gingerbread cookies in pumpkin dip. Oh, love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's see if I can open this quickly. 29 minutes. All right, I hate dumping this out, but I'm gonna do it. 
And I'm just going to tell you what I got for these. I'm not going to go through a big uh, sniffing session for these. Because there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it looks like. So we got Frozen Hearts. And it's shaped like a heart. And then I'll put them back in the bag. I'll have to sniff those later. I'll let you know how they were after I've warmed them. Because again, I'm probably going to let these sit for a while to cure. So then I also got a little mini bunt of Cindy Lou Who. And given that it's got a picture of a lollipop on there, I'm wondering if that's kind of an indication of the scent. All right, then I got a little heart shape of Cinderella would be jealous. Hmm. Curious about that one. And a heart shape again of Oh, I was about to say lobe, but I think it says love and madness. <laughs> love and madness. Hmm. Love the names. All right, another heart shape, pretty like a light pink with the tons of glitter. And brown sugar cream rose bouquet. All right. And, oh, okay, this is from, um, this sample would have been from like the Halloween collection. And this is Haunted Hayride. Even has like the... Um, what you call it? I think I, I remember smelling Haunted Hayride in the autumn Halloween samples that I had gotten. This one makes me think it is also because it's like another pumpkin shape. And is that more glittery stuff and stuff on my fingers? All right. Ooh, Frosted Pumpkin is that one. I don't remember what they smell like, but now I'll have some extras for next uh, fall. Oh, look at how cute. A little tiny... What is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was, I was like, I was going to say it looks kind of like a little tiny pear, but I was like, I don't know, maybe it's not. But yeah, that's that's what it's supposed to be. Even looks like it has like... You know, like you have a pear and it's green and then it has sometimes like little... I'm trying to turn it in the bag. It'll have like little brown kind of like, you know, a Bartlett pear, I'm thinking. Sometimes. Um, this one is Sweet Honey Pear. I bet you that's going to be spectacular. And then there's two more. This one's called Woodcutter's Cottage. And is it a mitten? I think so. I didn't look at it first. I just put it straight up to the camera. So Woodcutter's Cottage. Oops. And then the last one is a nice big snowflake. In... Pink Candy Queen is what it says. All right. So <clears throat> if, if you want me to sniff these, leave me some comments down below that you'd like me to at least give you a quick review of the samples. If not, I'll smell them eventually at some other point. We'll see. All right. So the other box I got, which I, I mean, I demolished it to get into it because they're taped up so well. I, it was in another US, USPS bag inside of that. So I wanted to get it out ahead of time. This one is from Destination Wax. And here's my little packing slip for this. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces, seven should be, um, seven should be bars, right? Um, breakaway bars, thank you. Breakaway bars and then three shot cups, <clears throat> which would have been in the limited edition section. All right, let's see. And very nicely packed. I'm just gonna kind of see if I can pull this stuff out quickly so that I can go over them with you. I know that they do put pour dates on their items, so that's great. Let me kind of pull the bag out. Oh, there's a little um, little bag for a, a nice sample gift, which is very, very kind. It's like Christmas. 
All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm just gonna grab and go. I'm sorry if you like things a little more relaxed and slow down. I usually try to be more relaxed and slow down, but when I'm trying to do two things and I've got a bunch of other things going on, I should have slowed down, but I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry if it stresses you out to see me kind of moving along quickly. Maybe you enjoy that. I hope it didn't bother you too much. Um, anyways, the first one in Destination Wax that's in my box is Smoked Vanilla. Smoked Tahitian Vanilla, Amber, Sandalwood, Leather, Clove, Musk, and a Shot of Bourbon. And then it has uh, that BBW behind it to show that it's a Bath & Body Works dupe. And it's got a pour date of 1014. So we're talking two months now. I love smoked vanilla. I've I've smelled it before and my goodness, that that's that's an edit kind of scent for me. I love that kind of deep, rich, sexy kind of scent. Love that. All right, another one that I totally love is vanilla birch. And it says white birch, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. Another Bath and Body Works type. And it's got a pour date of 1026. So not quite two months, but close. Man. I'm saving this one for my bedroom. I think, well, I don't know. I might want to do it in, in the uh, sunroom when we're watching TV in the evening. Because, wow. That is just... Beautiful. All right. This one is Pink Sugar Blender. And it says, warmer than pink sugar. That's what caught my eye. Warmer than pink sugar. Because I, I love pink sugar. But sometimes I find it a, a little, almost like a little too soft for me. So the fact that it said warmer than pink sugar with more musk and vanilla. Recommended for pink sugar custom blends. I was like, okay. You know how much I love to blend anyway, so I was like, oh, I'll just blend myself. So pink sugar blender and ooh, poured 728. So ready, so, so ready. Love that. I love when it's got an older pour date. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pink sugar, but it, because it's warmer, it comes out more, right? Because I, I find that pink sugar is beautiful, but it's almost like, um, I would say almost for more for people who like a lighter background scent. Because um, I feel like you'd have to put like a lot of it to really make it come out, and I don't want to do that. Um, so I find that it's, it's a very background scent for me. This is more of a forward scent now. Okay, this is making me relax and slow down. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Destination Wax does an awesome job also with their scents. Uh, I'm trying to see which one do I want to go over next. I don't know. They all look awesome. Okay. This one is Scottish Hearth. And I've seen this one before on some... Hauls. Um, I don't remember what was said about it, although I know it had to have been good because it made me think, oh, I want to get that too. So Scottish Hearth. Old world hearth fire of fresh applewood bows tossed onto burning logs of white birch. I say bows. Is it bows? Bows? I don't know. Uh, I think it's, I think it's bows. That doesn't mean I'm right, but that's what I think. So old, old world, <laughs> that's that craziness in me coming out again. Old world hearth fire of fresh applewood bows tossed onto burning logs of white birch. Mmm. 
Pour date of 11-7. So this one I'm probably going to let sit for a little while because it's, it's a month, but I don't know. I feel like the longer it sits, the better it's going to get. Holy moly, that smells good though. <laughs> I don't think this one needs to sit any longer. You get this one, you get that smokiness that I was talking about in the other one that I really don't really get that smokiness. This one, I get the smoky. <sighs> but the white birch, oh my gosh. And I get the apple from the apple wood. <sighs> That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Okay. Then I did this one because I've heard lots of good things about this one and I was super interested in trying it. I just hadn't ordered from Destination Wax in quite a few months. So I was like, you know what? I'm doing an order this month because I'm probably gonna go on a super duper low buy starting in January. So I was like, let me, let me get the order in now before it's January. So this is Moon Spice Cookie. And Moon Spice Cookie says sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. And I've heard so much about Celtic Moon Spice. And this one's got a pour date of 11-12. Let's see how cured I think it might be. I definitely get the coffee. I definitely get the coffee. And I get the sweetness of the cookie. And then everything else must be the Celtic Moon Spice. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have so many, sorry, I feel like my glasses are dirty. They are. Um, I have so many, it's probably from all the wax and stuff I've been touching. Um, so many coffee scents right now that Ready or not, I'm probably going to let that one sit for a few months anyways because I need to work through the ones that I already have open. So, <clears throat> all right. This one was one that I've been wanting to get. And I want to say the past couple of times I logged into Destiny Wa Destination Wax thinking about maybe getting an order. This was one of the scents that I absolutely wanted to get. And I think it kept being like out of stock when I look at it. So I was like, okay, maybe next month then, you know? And so I was like, eh, I'll wait until I can get it and then I'll place my order, which is what I did. So I got a uh, snap bar in Frozen Frozen. This one's got a pour date of 1014. So definitely two months old. And it says cold menthol plus essential oils of eucalyptus and peppermint. And I remember um, watching a video from Drew and Drew had um, hauled frozen, frozen. And, uh, I know he raved about it. So I'm, I'm almost positive. I, I could be wrong or I was, you know, wishful thinking on my part. I don't know, but <clears throat> I think I remember Drew raving about frozen, frozen. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So 10, 14. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. That menthol is big time, big time in there. Oh, wow. This is probably, and I don't know, when I warm it, I may get something different, but on cold sniff, truly, I feel like if I... If I put this up to my husband's nose, told him to close his eyes, I think he would have the same <clears throat> thought as me. If I had closed my eyes and you put this up to my nose to sniff I, without knowing that it was a wax bar, right? I would have thought that you opened up a jar of Vicks Vapor Rub and had me sniff it. This to me is the closest on cold sniff I have ever smelled anything that smelled like Vicks Vapor Rub. Talk about scent memories. I'm in love with that. And I will warm that one to find out if on warm I get the same vibe from it. Because if I do, 
I'll be getting a loaf of that. Mm. <clears throat> All right. This one I um, was very intrigued by. I liked the name and I liked um, I liked the scent notes. I liked the description that it had. And I thought, oh, I really want to try that. Um, I enjoy trying different um, foods, different ethnic foods. I, I find that fun and you find so many wonderful foods sometimes. Sometimes you find things that you like, yeah, that's not really up my alley, but many times, mm. So this one, I'm probably gonna say it wrong because um, I'm not from Libya and I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's, I would say Zalabia. So it look, that's what it looks like to me, Zalabia. And it says Libyan bread drizzle, not that it's, I don't know. Libyan bread drizzled with clementine scented honey. And it's got a pour date of 1126. So this is pretty fresh. All right, it's only a couple of couple of weeks um, poured. And um, man, I, I picture some gorgeous bread with the clementine scented honey drizzled on the bread and mm, having that with a cup of hot tea. Oh, wow. I get the bread note. I I wouldn't say I get a yeast scent from it. You you may, I don't know. I it's not something that I usually pick up on uh, so much. I I do get a bread note and I definitely get <clears throat> the clementine and the honey. It's this very rich Oh my gosh. It Yeah. If just based on the the scent that I'm getting from the wax, if I went to a ethnic bakery, right, that that had Zalabia, if that's what they call it, um, and they had it for me to buy, I, I absolutely would. Wow. I can't get over how great this smells. And I get all three items. Like, I, at, at one point, I feel like I'm, I want to say I'm really getting a lot of bread. But within that same sniff, I'm like, wait, there's the clementine and there's the honey. That's beautiful. That is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Then my three shot cups. And, yeah. <laughs> Taking almost... Based on how much I got, I'm going, it's taking me longer on these. All right, so the sh shot cup number one is nutmeg and moon spice mystery. Nutmeg and spices with a splash of moon spice cookie. And it's got a pour date of 1115. See? Uh, pretty color, like a, uh, like a cashmere kind of color. Or at least that's, you know, what I picture. Ooh, another one really good. It's, to me, it's very um, similar to that other one that I got. What's it called? Moon... No, that ain't it. That's not it. Moon Spice Cookie, right? Well, this one does say with a splash of Moon Spice Cookie. So it's similar to that. But this one has uh, nutmeg and spices in it. So I don't get the coffee that I get in the other one. And I guess I don't get the sweetness of the sugar cookie. But to me, it's very similar. Just a little more spice to it. But beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A sweet spice. Um, all right. The other, one of the other shot cups that I got is in Lost Cherry Delight. So black cherry, bitter almond. That caught my attention. Bitter almond. I was like, ooh. Bitter almond, sweet marzipan, rose, jasmine, and amber. Pour date of 1029. That sounds awesome to me. I do like cherry. Ooh. That's gorgeous. 
I definitely get a lot of cherry. A lot of cherry. So if you were like, oh, if it has a little bit of cherry. No, I mean, the scent is Lost Cherry Delight. But I get a lot of cherry. And I feel like I get a little bit of rose and jasmine. I can get a little, a little floral note in there. And I'm guessing the bitter almond kind of amps up that black cherry in a different way that the, the cherry is tart, but not overly tart. Maybe because of the sweet marzipan and then with the florals. I don't know. I don't know if the amber just gives it like a perfumeness to it. Wow, that's that's beautiful. If you like cherry, if you like cherry, this is gorgeous. Lost Cherry Delight, and it's in the limited edition stuff, so I don't I don't know if that means it. I don't know if it'll come back. I don't know. I would definitely get more of that. And then the last one outside of my samples is Mahogany Apple. And Mahogany Apple says, Apples and Cologne, Mahogany Woods, Golden Delicious Apple, Pink Peppercorn, and Lavender, and that it's a Bath & Body Works type. Mahogany Apple. I probably have smelled it from Bath & Body Works and just didn't remember. It's got a pour date of 10-1. It does sound, it does smell familiar, but you know, I'm a big apple person, so I smell so many apples that, you know, I do get the little bit, I do, not maybe not a little bit, but I do get the woodsiness that goes with the apple. I don't know that I get cologne. I personally don't think I get cologne. Oh, wait, on the bottom I do. Wow. And... I can't say that I've smelled Bath & Body Works mahogany apple. I would have thought I would have, but I don't know. Maybe I just didn't go to the store during the time it was out. Wow. That's nice. I like that. I like it a lot. I love apple scents and I love wood scents. So, I mean, those two together in there with a cologne. <laughs> it's like, it's like... Oh, Edda, what kind of scents do you like? Let's just put them all in that one, right? I mean, I'm sorry. My little note says, thank you, Edda. Happy holidays, Rebecca. And the little bag with the sample that's in there. Let's see what I got. My little Christmas present. Ooh, nice Christmas present. I got three pieces. Love it. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay. This one, I'm, I'm very interested. I am very scared of the scent, but I think I saw it. Um, where did I see it? Somewhere recently. And I, I remember thinking, oh, they, they lost me on the last part of it. It's called Vanilla Anise. And I've said before, to me, anise smells, I know some people say anise. I say anise. I don't know. Um, anise smells like licorice to me. So I don't like it when they put it in the food either. Like I've gotten food before um, where it it has it in there and I'm like, oh, they ruined it. Now it, it tastes like, you know, because when you're smelling the food, it, it kind of creates part of the taste that you get. And to me, it comes across as licorice. So vanilla anise says violet vanilla orchid, which I'm not usually crazy about violet either. Violet vanilla orchid, lightly spiced with wild fennel and star anise joe malone vanilla and an, and anise so it's supposed to be a dupe of uh, uh, a perfume i guess from joe malone of vanilla and anise maybe that's where i saw it in something that um okay so it's like a little like one of the little um uh, snap pieces off of one of the bars I'm thinking I'd probably wear that. I I do get I do get a little bit of the um anise scent. I might even be getting a little fennel. That's that's actually quite interesting. Quite interesting. Um I it's not like 
licorice, right? It, I think the way it mixes with the fennel and the other stuff. Quite interesting. I think if I had, um, if I had a little perfume sample of that, I'd, I'd actually wear that. See, I love, that's one of the reasons I love samples because who knows, I might wind up wanting to get a snap bar of that eventually after I warm that if I like it. And I wouldn't have tried it. I would not have bought the snap bar because I would have been fearful that because of the anise. All right, this next one that I got is Juniper Walk. Evergreen juniper and fresh, sweet mountain air. Oh, and this one's like a little shape for this one. So Juniper Walk. Should be very tree-like, right? Yeah, that is a juniper. Wow. <laughs> that brings back set memories. We had one of those junipers that gets really, really tall, skinny, and that sucker was like 10 feet higher than the house. I remember thinking, that thing's going to fall one day, and finally, my I think my father had it trimmed, but that's what that reminds me of. Like, oh my gosh. Um, I do get a sweetness, and I guess that's the mountain air, but for me, I really get the juniper. Nice. Uh, for me, that is a springtime scent with a floral at the same time. I love that kind of stuff. All right. Oh, another one <laughs> for that same time of year. Sorry, I'm getting excited. Um, this one's called Grass Stain. It says, single note scent of fresh green grass. And you know that I, well, if you watch my videos, you know that I like the scent of fresh cut grass. I love it, especially with florals. Let's see. This is one of those sweet grass scents. It's not, it's not that super strong kind of pungent grass, which I like that one too, right? Like if you've watched my videos for a long time, you would have seen one where there was one that almost knocked me off my feet. Well, I was sitting down, but you know, um, it was like super duper something I wasn't expecting. And I love that scent. I think it warms beautifully. I love it, love it, love it. Um, but I've had other scents that I find are a grass scent and they're just sweeter, right? That other one was not a sweet scent. It was grass. Um, this is like a sweet grass scent. It definitely smells like grass, but it smells like a sweet grass. I would definitely get that and have a floral going with it at the same time and in the spring. That is just spectacular to me. I love that. Anyways, let's see. Oh, 58 minutes. I made it under an hour. Barely, but I made it. Um, so, let's see. Grinch and I are happy that you came to spend some time with us. Um, see, Grinch, he's smiling, right? Isn't he smiling? Yes, he is. Um, so, I hope that you had a great day. I hope that I didn't drive you too crazy in this video. I hope that you will be back I am, I know I mentioned that I was thinking about taking a break and I, I don't think I will. I'm trying really hard not to. Um, I said that I've been going through my own thing and, um, I, I think, I think God is trying to tell me that I need to keep doing this. I, I do. Um, if for no other reason, some um, my friend Megan left me a message saying that she feels like my videos help people. And if that's true, if my video helps to make you feel better, brings joy, any kind of joy to your life, then I need to continue doing it. Um, whether I'm tired, whether I feel like I can't go anymore, whether I feel like whatever, um, God put us here for a reason. And if that is part of the reason that I'm here is to bring joy into your life, 
then that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on working. I am going to keep on doing what I need to do to hopefully make you happy. Um, so until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day and enjoy your journey. And if I don't see you or have another video before Christmas or you don't see this until Christmas, have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. I know that you may celebrate a different holiday and I hope that that holiday for you is wonderful. I celebrate Christmas and so Merry Christmas, but Merry whatever your holiday is also. I'll talk to you later. Bye.